today's installment of Walkthrough Wednesday is Batman The Telltale Games. Now, if you, don't, if you know me in person, you know how much I love the DC Universe, Marvel Universes. So, I found this, and we're going to be playing it. Let's get right on. So, I've had this for a while, but I waited till all of them come out, so then I could just bash it all out. There's five episodes. Okay, let's go. We'll play the mouse and keyboard, I think. Uh... I like the blue. The blue looks fancy. Oh, but the purple looks fancy. Yellow looks a bit tacky. Red looks evil. We're going to go blue. Blue looks nice. Blue? Yeah, blue. We're going to go blue. Awkward long loading screens. Yay! Yay! Yeah! yeah. Oh, you like the last one, didn't it? So if you're new to the Telltale series, uh, you can make a choice like, I don't know, kill Alfred or kill Catwoman, or choose to help someone, choose not to help someone, and then that choice will be with you throughout the whole game. It may have consequences, it may, it may have rewards. Oh shit, that's a nice way to start it. Someone just getting banged in the fucking head. Get it open. On it. He's gonna show, He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. For all the other flying animals. Right, so I'm quiet during cutscenes because I like to watch them and might help you guys to watch them as well. Why have you not shot me? What? What the fuck? He just turned naked. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now, but it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out um, of the sky. Um, they need something to fear. Criminals in this city, <laughs> they need something to fear. Fucking Alfred's gonna have to clean that up now. Shit! Where the hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. I got in, bitch. Gotta kill you. Or at least knock you out because Batman don't kill. Oh, 
What was that? Spooky, spooky Batman. Gonna shoot you right in the foot. Back to back, circle up. Gonna get ya. What's this? We got like a bomb grenade thing. Take us. Oh, <coughs> hell is this? <coughs> Smoke grenade. <laughs> Shift in here. <laughs> Look at the guy in the chair. I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Oh, I don't like these uh, quick time events. That's it, give him brain damage. Sometimes you think it'd be better just to kill the person. Why don't you go with a saw? God damn, this is hard. teach you to knock behind you big boy huh? hey <laughs> oh shit wrong bird oh that was close cat woman get back here you ain't stealing my porn magazine Bye, cops. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. I'm just going to have to pause it there for two seconds. I seem to be running five different games at once. There we go. Let's get back into it. I'm behind you. Without a scratch. So far. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me what? A villain? villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Oh. That's fighting talk. Bring it, Bat. <laughs> Shit! Wrong! Oh. Quick time events, I'm no good at them. Hmm. 
Ooh, kinky. Oh my god, this is actually brutally hard. Oh, you hit a woman in the face. Oh, right in the abdomen. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> Shit. Ugh! Got her. I was relying too much on my keyboard, I didn't even think about the mouse. Shit, wrong button. that trouble for this shit a myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood shut up alfred god damn it i said don't shoot no wait Oh, I missed. Oh, got it. Come on, bats. Catch her. Good, but guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my talk or a drop you. Don't stroll your fall. You can you can't escape this. Talk or a drop you. Let's be a bit frightening. Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Dick. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well, I was drinking, I had to try and not spit out then. Fucking hell, Alfred. Time to save the city. Fucking hell, Alfred. That was brutal. <laughs> Don't let tombstones be your legacy. Help me. Thank you. I fucking need some <laughs> out of here for that. Oh, oh is this Harvey Dent? journey like myself yep. is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne 
My campaign's largest backer could have heard that applause. He would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Oh, I'm that sort of cunt to say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> and that sort of cunt to go, hi, and then insert name. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Being quiet there. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes. I'm doing this for Gotham, I'll finish my drink. Please I'm an asshole in real life, so. Put on your uh, I'll smile. be nice. Don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. Put in dent crime. I hope is in Harvey a new face for Gotham. Oh, because of the. Which, for the record, I have not. Uh, put dent in crime. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Look at you. That's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. That is a nice house. Who's he? Connor, I think his name is. Oz. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Hmm. We can all make a difference. You, but we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me. Not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right. Right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think uh, so. Yeah, how we don't count depends on the man. Hope. Like depends on the man. Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, I 
tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh... Bitch, well, stop I'm talking about my family. Babies. You're about to die anyway. And I'm sure you don't either. Uh, yes, well, that was a long time ago. I've moved on. Of course, of course. Together, we'll help the whole city move on. I don't know this I've done. He's a fucking lick ass. <laughs> uh, not how I pictured that going. Right now, I'm picturing another drink. You know, I was kind of hoping you would mention my campaign, or at least my name. Fuck off, you cunt. And now I'm picturing that drink, too. Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Bitch, get the fuck out! You can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly. Uh, I'm gonna keep blank. <laughs> Just Wayne, awkward. You've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Cut myself shaving. Yeah. It looks like. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh. Cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Oh. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Bitch, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Don't want him here. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. I will play nice, you Mr. Harvey Dent. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, I'm just gonna be quiet. Flesh, no class. Carmine Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Should I give him the middle finger? Can I give him the middle finger? You're a respectable man. I oh. Gentlemen, Refused. Perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. It's Everyone was just staring at me. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's private audience? Oh, come on, guys. Bruce, you'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? I do, yes. I and I'd say rather yes. see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. 
I understand more than you know. Good. You look smart. You dress smart. Glad it adds up to something real. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Here, pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? I'm not a little bitch. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. I got on very well, I'm still mine. I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Oh, Pick a cunt. lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. You're saying my father's corrupt? And which to break. I'm gonna be quiet. I don't want to insult him. Yeah. Let that sink in. It's nice that we understand each other. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. Fuck off, you. While this nah. is still standing. Can't believe you said my dad was evil. Ass. <laughs> Can't wait to break his neck. Batman. Only like half an hour into the recording and he gives me the intro. Thanks, game.